Well, Lisa DeLuca, man, <laughs> you got two kids, you're a geek, you work for IBM, and now you want every kid in America to grow up to be a geek too. That's terrific, I think, because that's where the opportunities are. <laughs> so you have this book that's gonna teach, you know, like a one-year-old, the basics of computers. How cool is that? What made you think of that? Yeah, well, I have two sons. They're just now turning 15 months old, so I wanted them to be nerdy just like their mother. And I, <laughs> I thought of a cute little rhyming story, and I thought, you know, I should make a little book about this. <laughs> but also, you're going to have kids counting binary now. So everybody will live. I mean, most people my age don't even know what the hell binary is. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a mental disorder. But, <laughs> but it's what computers run on. Wow. And so you're raising money, too. And, and on uh, crowdfunding and on Kickstarter, man, you blew them away. You got 300 people that want this already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think we got our funding goal in three days, so it happened no all really kidding. fast. Three days, you had it. And how long is it up for? 30 days or what? Um, I made it the whole month of January, so I think it was 32 days. I see, 32 days, wow. And so in three days, you got your money, you're gonna go to press, and you're gonna save the world. And yeah, more people, I mean, people are, are actually, in our country now, are worried about women being in science and technology and math fields, but it's, I, I think it's everybody. I mean, we're all getting away from that now. And, and you know, you're not going to have a good job in the future if you don't have a, a, a feeling for these subjects, are you? Uh-huh. Yep. I know. I want my kids started early, so I, I figured I'd do this for myself, and if other people benefit from it, then great. Right. That's well, that's cool. I guess this is cheaper for you, you know, to spend time doing this book than, at, than trying to save for a college fund, which will be hundreds of thousands of dollars by the kid, time the kid gets graduating. Right? Yeah, yeah, too bad I didn't raise like a million dollars to fund my kid's education. <laughs> but, see, if you teach them this kind of uh, stuff, I mean, they'll be skilled enough to get their own money, you know, because they'll be giving yep. money for that because we have to. Like now, gosh, if you're a woman in one of the STEM, you know, fields, I mean, it's pretty easy for women to get money to go to school for that stuff, I, mean, I think, unless... I yeah, I mean, I had student loans and it's not that hard, you know, you go to an awesome school and you get good job offers and you can pay back student loans, so... I'm all yeah, well, for if that. you're making a lot of money, you can. That's why law school costs exp is expensive because people, when they graduate, they make a lot of money. <laughs> well, that's cute. Now, the, also, I see that you have a the illustrator on this. Just the illustrations are just adorable. How did you find this person that's doing the illustrations? Yeah, he's amazing. Um, I thought I, I knew I wanted to have a robot because you know who else would teach binary than a robot? And I did a Google search for robot vector images, and I found those those sites that you could download just the vector image and you pay per image. And I happened to see the contact information for one of these illustrators that had awesome robots. So I sent him a note and I said, "Hey, you want to be my illustrator for my kid's book?" And he said, "Yes." So that's how. <laughs> and where is he from? Is he from Baltimore too, Herda? Oh, he's from Latvia. Latvia. <laughs> now you know at least know where Latvia is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. I've had such a great experience with it. Yeah. He, uh, now you have a picture of him on the side, and and the cartoons are are so clever and. and and actually, it's, I mean, I assume, you know, someone there has a lower price tag than if you got a high power talent in the U.S. also. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't been as, I, I looked around um, in the U.S. too, and all the prices were just unreasonable for me. I, I was like, oh, this is kind of a for fun project. Yeah. I wanted to get it going. So I didn't want to spend a ton of money getting illustrations done. So you were able to find, I mean, that's to me what's so great about the internet, you, I mean, people who are working for $2 an hour around the world are, are just very capable people, you know, yeah. and, and can add so much to any kind of project that you're trying to get. Uh, does IBM use these people too, or, or they go over and set offices up in Latvia and other people? Yeah, they it? probably do that. I know we work with a lot of people overseas. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, that's the name of the game. I mean, it, 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 the, the idea is, I think, to get things done, like your book. I mean, otherwise, if you didn't find this low source, 
uh, you know, a, late, a less expensive source, then you know, we wouldn't be able to appreciate a robot story, right? <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I could have gone directly to a children's publisher, and, right. and usually they have writers come to publishers without the illustration. So you go uh, and you talk to them, and you say, okay, here's my idea for the the wording, and they assign an illustrator. And the cool part about mine is I I was able to find the kind of illustrator that I wanted I and I wanted to envision my book a certain way and he's just been able to bring it to life. Wow. Now why didn't you take him? I and you have like dozens of patents and you know a very talented lady. So you could have went out and got a publisher to publish this maybe. Did you try that at all or maybe yeah you know, I just heard kind of horror stories about doing it just as a writer you you don't get much of the proceeds. You don't really right. have control over what your book looks like or anything like that and you know this was fun and I am kind of one of those people that likes to do everything myself and get my hands dirty and I try it all out so I wanted a to real entrepreneur right yeah I want to experience all of it ah uh, well that's terrific so it was just really control and satisfaction it sounds like the main reasons why you did it yourself and how was your experience on uh, crowdfunding with Kickstarter I, I've been nothing but happy with it it's super fun being having your own project I'm I'm addicted to refreshing and checking my email to see if I get new backers. And, How much money um, I make today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, for me, the the up updates that you can do as a project is pretty fun too. You can get, uh, keep your backers informed and offer stretch goals. So I have a few stretch goals. Like today, we just reached six thousand dollars, which wow. upgraded everybody's um, book. Before it was only going to be seven inches tall, and now I'm going to make it eight inches. So. Oh, whoa, Yay. we grew another inch. <laughs> More robots. <laughs> so this will be in a hardcover and an ebook. Now the ebook sounds like it's animation and things like that. It's really a fun little ebook. And for three bucks, you can get the ebook on, uh, on your site now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun too. It'll allow you to click on all the buttons and turn uh -huh. them on and off so you can see how binary works. <laughs> I mean, it's animated. All the characters run around the page. It's it's amazing. <laughs> well, you're a delight, Lisa. Thank you for doing this and encouraging people to get involved in science and education because we're going to need that to compete. We're like down 24th in the world now, so we need to get these young kids out to get us to number one again. And so even now for the fundraising, you go to arobotstory.com, right? And you can find out about it there and click through to Kickstarter and and spend at least three bucks and get an ebook of this and send it to all your kids or young people yeah. you know, or even your old person, you could finally learn what computers do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, thank you again, and that's arobotstory.com. Great, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Take care.